Hi everybody, I got this new app on my computer that allows me to record videos while you can see my screen. So I wanted to take this opportunity just to quickly go through how to navigate the website. I know a lot of you are already doing that, but I figured this might just give you a few more ideas on what you could do, be doing um, as far as students' assignments go. So when you click on the link for our web page, this is the page it's going to bring you to. This is our home page, and this is Pedota's class. This background might change depending on whatever our topic for the week is. So if you see something different, don't worry, you're still in the right place. Um, and if you take a look down, you scroll down on this home page, the first thing you're going to see are these links for art, music, and physical education. So if you click on one of those links, it will take you right to the home page for whatever um, special that is. So you could use those specials pages however you want. If you want to um, take a look on those for some additional activities, you could do that. All right, so I'll go out of this and go back to our home page. Okay, down below that right now on the home page, I have a link to our teacher videos page. So you could click the teacher videos page and that will bring you to this page where I am uploading any videos that teachers might take. Um, some of these videos will be used in the um, website itself for lessons but right here these are just some stories or messages from teachers so just some fun stuff um, that the kids can listen to um, if you look right up here along the top you'll also see you could also get to the teacher videos page by clicking the tab on the top of the page right so we got to it originally from the home page but you could also just get to it by clicking the tab at the top of the page. All right. So on the bottom of the home page, one last thing to show on there, there's not much going on on the home page. But on the bottom, you'll see, um, in case you need them, are the sign-ins, excuse me, the sign-ins and the passwords for some of the sites that the kids really like to use. Some of these sites will use in this website. Um, some of the sites, if you just want to go on them and use them, you could do that too. Um, I picked out, we have a lot. Linkoid has like access to a lot of different websites, but I tried to pick out the ones that the kids like to use um, the most. So there's your sign-ins and your passwords, and those will always be up there, so you, um, you, know, you don't have to worry about writing them down or anything. They'll always be there. So let's say you sign on one day, you're going to do work, let's pretend it's Monday, so we are going to click on Monday on the top tab. And that's going to bring us to the work for Monday. Now, if you're viewing this website on a tablet, it's going to look a little different. Right now we're in laptop mode. So this is what the website looks like if you're doing it from a laptop or desktop computer. If you are on a tablet, your view is probably going to look more like this. Right, so as you can see, this top here that has the tabs on the top doesn't have as much space, so you get this more tab. So if it's Friday and you don't see Friday across the top, then go ahead and click here and then you'll find your Friday and that tab will take you right to Friday. Um, if you are viewing this from um, a phone, it's going to look more like this, so that looks a little bit different. So you're not going to have any tabs at all along the top, but you are going to have this sidebar. So if you click on that sidebar, then you'll have all your tabs listed here. So you can just go to the day of the week that it is, complete the work um, for that day. All right, so I'm going to take us back to Monday. And just for purposes of this video, I'm going to use show this to you in the laptop mode just so it's a little bit bigger. Um, we started off this Monday with an exercise video or a workout video. Um, a lot of these videos that are in here are just YouTube links. So you just click on it. So 
there you go. That, um, like I said, those are just YouTube links. And I'm going to add videos and stuff that the students are familiar with that I know that they like for exercises and yoga and that kind of thing. Um, coming down here is our RAS Kids. We're going to be using this RAS Kids site for ELA and reading. So you're going to go ahead and click on it. And then it's going to bring you to the RAS Kids page. My face is in front of your sign in. So here we go. So once you get to RAS Kids, you're going to go to the screen button, Kids Login. You're going to click on that. Um, I was already logged in, but let's just log out for a second. So this is what you'll see when you go to Kids Login. You'll have all the names here. You're going to click on your student's name or your child's name, and then you're going to pick their icon password. So I send all the icon passwords on Remind, but if you forgot your child's icon password and you don't feel like flipping through all those messages, just send me a quick message and I will um, I'll, I'll resend you that password. For myself, I chose the turtle. And this is what, once you put in your password, what your um, Raz Kids is going to look like. Right, so you could go to the reading room, and in the reading room here, there's just lots of different books you could do. You can do different leveled readers, you can choose by topic, you could do a fiction series, they have poems and songs, they have um, a section where you can do books in Spanish, so they have a lot there. Um, the assignment that I a sign that I'm going to just keep track of how well the students are doing will be under my assignment. If you click on my assignment, you go down, you'll see my assignment is right here. I'm going to click that and I'm going to go ahead and Bird Goes Home, to it. written by Cheryl Ryan, illustrated by Signe Norden. The bird goes over the tree. So if you're sitting and um, the bird goes over the farm. There we go. If you're sitting and doing this with your child, what you could do, which is um, the way we do a lot of reading at school, is let them listen to the whole page first, and then pause it, and then have them read it back to you. So they were able to hear it. Now they're able to use what they heard and the picture cues to figure out the text on their own. So then they can read it back to you, and then you go on to the next page and do the same thing with the next page. I would take it one at a time as far as, like, let them let one page be read to them and let them read one page back and then move on to the next page. Um, if you're not sitting with them and they're just doing it on their own, it's okay if they just go um, right through it. All right, so that's your um, RAS kids. In... Another thing that we will be doing every Monday through Thursday, I will have a Raz Kids, a Boom Cards, and a Happy Numbers um, assignment. And then on Fridays, it will just be that you could go back and finish whatever you didn't finish. So if you go to Boom Cards, again, you just click the picture. It takes you right to the site. You find your name, and then you put in your password. For Boom Cards, it was Octopus and then some other um, icon. Mine was octopus and B, so I'm going to sign in. And if I scroll down here, I will also see that I have some uh, assignments to do here. So you click on your assignment. Dog. And your assignment comes up. This one, you're building D. words. Ah. Uh. Some CEC words. G. So you put in your answer. And my face is in front of the... There we go. And you click submit. Ten. And it moves on to the next one. This also, when you're done, like Raz Kids, will send information um, back to me so I can see um, how the students are doing. So that's what your boom cards will look like. When you are in boom cards, just one thing I wanted to show you is they'll have like a choice of things they want to do. It's okay for them to just choose what they want. If I go on and see that they're doing the same thing every single day, then I might just take that one out of the options and give them something else, but it might be nice for them to have an opportunity to make some choices there. Um, and then happy numbers is it going to be for our math program. And they would click I am a student. And again, find the name. 
and here your password is a two-digit number. Um, again, if you forgot it or you don't feel like you scrolling around to find it in your remind, just send me um, send me a message and I'll let you know what your password is. You click to start. And again, everyone has individualized lessons here. You click to start. How many pairs? And then you go ahead and start playing on there. Five pairs. So I think you kind of get the idea of how that how that goes. All right. So those are three other things that we will be doing on a daily basis: the Raz Kids, the Boom Cards, and the Happy Numbers. You'll also find a lot of um, videos, be it on um, YouTube videos that I created or YouTube videos that are just um, things that you know can be some skill review for the kids. A lot of times I'll have a little um, information on here, like this one says watch the video and read the sight words to an adult. So that's just a little way to make it a little bit more interactive. Now I want to take a look before my time runs out. I only have 15 minutes on this. You know, maybe you're happy about that. I'm almost done. Um, at a day like Wednesday. On Wednesday, we had a story for you to listen to. So then you would click on that story. <clears throat> Excuse me. World of insects. Butterflies. You can make it bigger. It's a butterfly. Ex extending tab here. And that would open it up in another, um, you know, in another page. <coughs> Excuse me. With a lot of those comes, this is just the one of the last things I wanted to show you. I'm going to move myself over. Is um, this Google form. So for the, to fill out this Google form, you would again click the corner here. Open it up. And then you would just start filling it out. It would be questions related to the video. So you click on your name and then continue through answering the questions. All the answers for these, again, once you hit submit, will get sent back to me so I could um, review those as well. I just want to take a look at what I think this Google form is going to look the same, like this, with the Extend tab on a tablet. And if you're on a phone, a little bit different. It'll be right underneath. So just reforms that, reformats it a little bit, and it still has the same extend tab on there. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I think that's almost everything. Before my video runs out, sometimes we will be doing... Um, PBS Learning Media, which will look like this, but I'll give you a separate video for a little tutorial on that if needed. Um, just a couple of other things that are on our page. Right now we have Signs of Spring, which is kind of a fun page, I think, because I get to see everybody. So I had you send me on Remind pictures of different signs of spring in your area. And there's some of our cuties. They, so... People sent me pictures of them out on nature hikes in the snow, um, you know, hanging out in their yards and things like that. So this was a fun page. The next one we're going to do, a um, page like this, is all about environmental print. So if you're out and about taking walks and you find anything you could read, street signs or emblems on cars or whatever it may be, send me the pictures and we'll make another um, page. Um, there will always be a yoga page up if, they, if you want to try out some, you know, yoga moves, All right? So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. You all know where to find me, and um, I hope to uh, talk to you all soon. All right, bye-bye.